and our RV has that. And when I came up, I picked something up. When I came up, I hit my head so hard it put a knot on my head a couple weeks ago. So since then, my hip is what you know always bothers me um, with my atlas, and it's I'm starting to have some of that. But I don't know if it's out or not, or just the weather changes. This is our fourth season here because we're not able to come in the summer. We won't even go to anyone else. And we come back here because we do like the park, but we mainly come back here because Dr. Collins and, uh, and he's just so good at what he does. And it works, I mean. And I think just the pain that it relieves from the body, and no matter what your pain is, mm. you know, it relieves it. Um, Ken had migraines, uh, something awful, and it, all the time. And, you know, the adjustment really helped him. Carters are awesome. Originally, Diane came in. She was experiencing really bad hip and sciatic pain. And whenever she'll go out of alignment, that's kind of one of her cues that she knows she's out. But without any real history of obvious trauma, it was interesting digging into her case. Once we got into her x-rays, though, it started to become really apparent that she was out of alignment and that I'd be able to help her. So with adjusting Diane, it was really important to open up that head and neck relationship to prepare the atlas to release. There was a lot of influence uh, in her shoulders and neck to bring that cervical spine back in alignment with the head. And something that's interesting is Ken, her husband, th these, the two of them are not new to the kind of work that I do, upper cervical work. They had been to several upper cervical doctors through their journey, and she had found it was really the only thing that helped her. But it was interesting because he was able to notice something about the way that I was setting Diane up and the precision with what we were doing that made him even uh, kind of question what was going on with him. He was actually suffering from migraine headaches and high blood pressure. That's when I had the migraine problem. Mm -hmm. But <clears throat> she had so much problem with her neck when we came here. Um, so I, we, I come for her, okay? And she said, why don't you go see him? No, no, I'm good. You know, I'm good, I any problem, my migraine's going away. Mm -hmm. And he showed her how her neck was turned. And she finally convinced me to go. And my, actually, my neck was worse than hers was. So, so just the overall well being, um, overall general health. Um, and it's not just about pop and crack things, it's just about your well being, too. And when you have pain like that, you don't realize how much fatigue that you have with it you know it drains your body mm -hmm. and you just don't feel good you know and you have a lot of other issues that go I couldn't he likes to walk but I couldn't always walk very far because there are days that my I could start out the morning maybe I wouldn't be hurting with my leg pain and, all, and it goes all the way down to my hip pain but by the time I get done walking I'd be hurting the rest of the day so with adjusting Diane to get that hip to release it was really important to get the head and neck back in proper alignment to achieve that, we're bringing her down onto her side to open up that head and neck, bring things properly aligned, and then using the sound wave to release that. That allows the posture start to open up and we're no longer having that twisting compensation that happens as a result of the atlas being displaced, the head tilting, and then the body compensating. And, and you can ask yourself, what's it, what's it worth to feel good? Mm -hmm. You could have went around and rest your life, your neck. And, you know, you can, you're, you're a big guy, you can deal with this. Mm -hmm. and but you, know, you got to take care of the house. You know? Yeah, or I'll do a few exercises Great. and I'll go to this person, or, you know. <clears throat> and you can do that, you know, you can. And when you, when you look at what you spend in doing that over a year's time, or many years' time. And you look at people our age, have. look at people our age. You know, my gosh, they're on heart medication. They're, they act old, they're not old, they act old. We choose not to do that.